Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back with me Nathan. Google has just released a new AI tool that can help you create apps with just simple prompts. So in this video, let me introduce you to Google Opal. So recently, Google just launched an app called Opal, and it's something that can turn your ideas into AI mini apps without having to code. Basically, you just need to describe what you want in plain English, and Opal takes that description to automatically build a visual workflow. It chains together inputs, process data with AI models, and then generate an output. The whole idea is that you're not coding at all, you're just talking to Opal and it's figuring out the logic for you. Once Opal generates the workflow, you can see and edit the workflow visually step by step. That way, you're not stuck with what the AI gives you, you can tweak each part, add new steps, or change the logic just by describing what you want to Opal. You can also edit the workflow manually by dragging and dropping components in the visual editor. And the best part is that you can remix and share these little mini apps with anyone, which is quite awesome. It helps you build your own productivity tools or prototypes, all without writing a single line of code. Opal is currently completely free, but since it's still in beta, it's only available in the United States, which is kind of a bummer. I'll let you know when it's released for the rest of the world, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Next, let me show you how to use Opal, and as we proceed, I will also reveal what makes this AI tool unique. To get started with Opal, just go to its website at opal.withgoogle.com, and then click on the sign in or try now buttons. Once you're inside, you'll see a space to create your own Opal app, as well as a gallery of apps down here. These are apps that have been created by the Opal team to showcase what's possible. There is one for creating social media posts, create AI video ads, book recommendations, and many more. I want to explain to you the Opal workflow, so let's select this blog post writer because it's easy to understand and shows a good example of what Opal can do. So here's the app editor screen in Opal. On the left side, you have the workflow editor, and on the right side, you can see the rendered app. The workflow here basically maps out all the steps involved in creating a blog post. The first step here is get topic, where it asks for the topic that you want to write about. Notice that the chart is marked with yellow color here. In Opal, yellow is for inputs. After that, Opal automatically runs the next step, which is do research. Here, it actually goes out and searches the web for information on the topic. Once it's done gathering research, it moves on to the write outline step where it creates a structured outline for the blog post based on the research it just did. The blue colored charts are for the generative tasks. This is where AI is used to generate some kind of output. Notice that in this chart, we can see this get topic and do research tags. It's basically Opus way of telling you the requirements to run this step. Next up, there is a step called create banner image, which uses the outline to generate a relevant banner image for the post. This is automated using Gemini 2.0 Flash. Then, Opal goes to the write post tab, where it actually writes the full blog post using the outline as a guide. Finally, the last step is display blog post, where it displays the finished product, title, content, and the banner image. The green color here is for output. Up above here, we can switch to view only the full app, or split the view with the workflow. Alright, let's try this app next, so just press start on the right side here. And now we're in step 1, and I can enter the blog post topic here. Uh, for example, let's type impact of AI on education. Press enter, and now Opal continues to step 2, in which it will do the research to get the basic overview, historical context, current opinions, controversies, and future developments. It will search the web and read some information for this research. The whole thing is laid out visually, so you can see how each part connects right here. Next, it will generate an outline of the blog post based on the research base. The outline contains the same details as the research, and next, it will begin to create a banner image for the blog post as well as writing the actual post for us. And finally, once all is completed, it will render the blog post directly in the app as shown here. So let's scroll down to see the blog post here. There is the title, and then there is the content, and there is the brief history over here, and the rest of the sections. And that's basically how Opal works. Now if you want to edit this app, you need to remix this app first. Remix is simply creating a copy of this app to your account so that you're free to change it. And here's the remixed app. Notice that we can see items to put into the workflow at the top and an input bar at the bottom. 
The top bar is used to get items into the workflow manually. For example, you can add another user input over here and you can enter the prompt for this input on the right side. And then you can click generate to add the blue chart item for generative tasks as well as the output item which is a green chart. In the blue chart, you can select the model you want to use as well as the prompt for this tab. You can use VO to generate videos and Lyria to create musics, but note that there are rate limits for using them with Opal here. To connect the charts, simply click the dot connector here and then drag it to the other chart as shown here. Okay, let's remove them all for now. Instead of manually editing the workflow, you can simply describe what you want in the prompt box over here and the AI will adjust the workflow for you. Let me show you an example. So let's say add a short video generation to accompany the blog post. Submit the prompt and let Opal work on the request. Okay, we can see a new generative chart added to the workflow here. Uh, let me tidy up the workflow a bit. And we can see the generate short video chart over here. So yeah, that's basically how you can use Opal Workflow Editor to create an AI mini app. Next, let's try to create a workflow from scratch. So back in the main menu, I would just select create new here. And now we are given an empty canvas. So I would just describe what I want to the AI here. Uh, generate diet menu from ingredients. Press enter and let Opal work on it for a moment. And now we can see the workflow generated by the AI over here. You can immediately try it on the app preview here. So for example, I will add some ingredients over here like chicken meat, carrot, potato, and so on. And for the days, I will enter two days. Now Gemini is processing the data and generating the diet menu according to the workflow. And then it will generate the HTML page for the menus. And finally, here's the diet menu. There is breakfast, lunch, and dinner for day one and day two down below. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. So yeah, overall that's how you can create a complete end-to-end -end AI mini apps using Opal. You can remix any app in the gallery, and you can just tell AI the kind of app you want, so there are many experiments you can try out here. Opal is really a promising new tool for building and sharing AI mini apps with zero code. Although there are some limitations and it's US only for now, but the potential here is huge, especially for rapid prototyping and sharing AI ideas. I'm quite liking it so far. And now we have come to the end of this video. So what do you think about Google Opal? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoy today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Co with Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.